Learn the best way to solve word problems. Welcome to Learn With Me, Mrs. Sullivan. This is How to Use Close Reading Strategies to Solve Word Problems, Lesson 1. Step 1. Read the question. My teacher has lots of paper clips. Blank of them are large, blank or small. How many paper clips does my teacher have? Now, you'll see I've intentionally left the numbers out of this word problem so that we can concentrate on the steps we're going to use to solve this. Step two, reread the question. Identify the question being asked. Hint, look for the text clue question mark to identify the question. Underline the question sentence. My teacher has lots of paper clips. Blank of them are large, blank or small. How many paper clips does my teacher have? I use that question mark to identify the question sentence, and this way you know exactly what the question is because we underline the question sentence. This next step is the most important step in solving any word problem. Visualize the question. Make a mental picture of what the question describes. So I'm seeing paper clips, some are large, some are small. Oh, and the paper clips belong to my teacher. That's the set I'm looking at, not all the paper clips in the world. Okay. Visualize what is happening in your brain, make a mental picture, then create the frame. Use your mental picture to help write the answer frame. The answer frame are the words that are going to surround the numerical part of your answer and they help make the answer clear. So reread the question and double underline the words that will be part of your answer. I'm using that visualization to help me and I know I need to prepare the frame by double underlining the words paper clips and my teacher because that is what I'm counting or talking about is paper clips and not all the paper clips, just my teacher's paper clips. So once I've double underlined those, it's gonna help me to create my answer frame. It even helps me to spell the words. My teacher has blank paper clips. Now my answer frame is ready for the numerical part of the answer. So these are the steps I'm gonna do to help me to figure out what that missing amount is. Identify what information you know. What do you know? The whole or total, one part, two parts? Write the known information into a bar model or number bond. All of these are ways to represent the relationship between the parts and the whole, and they're a critical step in solving any word problem. I like to use the bar model because it's just easier for me to organize and draw. Now I'm thinking about my bar model and I know the two parts. One of the parts is large paper clips, what is small paper clips? It's even a good idea to label my bar chart so that I keep myself organized and I know exactly which number is represented where. So I've labeled my bar model large and small for my two parts and here I am. I'm going to put in the numbers. 47 of them are large, so I record that into my bar model. 50 of them are small, I record that as well. This is gonna help me to know what I'm gonna need to do. What do I need to do? I need to find the whole or the total. So now we're ready to solve. Let's use an open number line. There's a lot of different ways to solve equations and oftentimes you're asked to show your work in more than one way, using more than one method. So we're gonna use an open number line. First, we decide how we want to set up our open number line. It's easier to jump five groups of 10 than four groups of 10 and then seven ones. So I start with the 47 large paper clips. I'll add the 50 small paper clips by jumping five groups of 10. 57, 67, 77, 87, 97. 97 is my whole or total but I'm not done until the answer is in the frame. My teacher has 97 paper clips. Let's solve using base 10 blocks. 
I represent my large amount with base 10 blocks and my small amount. Now I need to put them together to find the whole or total. How many tens? Nine tens. How many ones? Seven ones. But we need to finish the frame to be complete. So whether we're using an open number line or base 10 blocks or some other method to solve, let's review the steps that we do to make that happen. Let's review. Step one, read the question. Step two, reread and underline the question sentence. Step three, visualize. Make a picture for your brain, then prepare the frame. Double underline the words from the question you will use in the answer frame. Write the frame for the answer. Organize and record the known information into a bar model, or it could be a number bond. Solve to find the information that is missing from the bar model or number bond. Write the answer in the frame. And those are the steps that will help you to solve a word problem. Here are some other videos from Learn With Me, Mrs. Sullivan. I will link them in the description box below. Please like and subscribe if you found this video interesting or helpful. And as always, thanks for watching Learn With Me, Mrs. Sullivan.